this is Amber with Lives in St. Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the Element of Fire for September 10th through 16th. I hope you all are doing awesome. I'm uh, cutting through all of this uh, post-ecliptic energy and doing positive. So we're going to start with Aries. What do you have for Aries for September 10th through 16th? There it is. Two of Cups. King of Swords. Seven of Cups. Eight of Rods. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck you have the Tower. The Tower means that something is changing in your life. A sudden revelation or upheaval. There are, there is going to be some change in your life. <clears throat> Underneath that, you have the King of Rods, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So what I see is you get a sudden reala realization of the direction that you want to take, and it's totally different from the direction that you were taking. It's like you realize that you need to hold on to something. You've thought about it, or I almost feel like you have an epiphany, but it's something that has been on your mind and you decide to hold on to something, okay? It looks like there may be a relationship with the Two of Cups or you're coming to a realization about a partnership that you have. And it's like you've become clear. You might also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I don't know why I feel like you're going to cut you're cut this person out of your life or you have cut this person. Or this person is watching your relationship with another. Um, maybe you're posting things online. Maybe you're sharing that information. But I, I feel like love is just coming in with this relationship but someone is watching. Okay, And you're trying to, to build something with the person that you're with or that you are paying attention to. There may also be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn involved as well. And this is a person that may be older than you or a little bit more established than you are. But these are the two people that could be in the relationship and I feel like there's another person watching. With the King of Pentacles, it's like you're trying to take control over your relationship. Maybe someone comes in, this King of Swords, and tries to create some sort of confusion within your relationship. But you know what you want and you're working towards that. This It feels like this information or whatever is coming into you is not going to stop you. You're definitely trying to hold on to what you have and you're not trying to let it go. You want to stay here where you are, whatever this is. So I'm going to pull a love card for you because this feels very loving to me. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest love of all. Okay. So open up to the truth. Make some changes about your past and move into this relationship. It looks like there is a lot of sturdiness here within this relationship, even though there may be a little bit of confusion. Or I feel like you may be going back to some old thoughts about the way that you used to do things or something like that. Okay? okay and this is for Leo. Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor, Six of Pentacles, Page of Rods, Ace of Swords, and the Magician. On the bottom of the deck you have the Queen of Pentacles. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this could just be your energy of getting things together, becoming whole in your home life, and your with your security, your um, career, uh, you're just your material existence okay because it looks like it's time some secrets have been revealed to you or you're opening up your intuition and you're following your path is what I'm getting and you're taking the steps that you need to take slowly to get there to become one with what the universe wants for you or this could be a love offer from that uh, earth sign 
Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this is a person that you may have known for a while as well. And you have been working up to a relationship, but almost not even aware of it. Okay. So with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like you're working on yourself. You're doing what you need to do to feel independent. You may be separating from someone. It may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that is around you. And this person is just hanging around. I feel like they're around you while you're building up your quote-unquote empire or whatever it is that you're trying to do for yourself. You're setting rules. You're making a sturdy foundation for yourself. It's like you've become clear within the last few weeks, I want to say, um, about what it is that you really want to do and you're taking that action. It's like you're brand new. You're getting that fire back in yourself. Given that time to you that I feel like you were given to someone else and they didn't appreciate it the way that they should and now you're taking that energy and putting it towards you bravo for you Leo seriously and it looks like you're just becoming who you are this is the magician you're using your power it's like you have an epiphany something comes to you and you're using your power for yourself to build yourself to become stable okay I feel like even more that this is about you and not even a love relationship but I just wanted to throw that in there. So let's see what I have for you, Leo. The Law of Attraction. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. You have power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. Exactly. So as long as you put in positive energy, you'll you'll get positive excuse me positive energy out of it. Very very positive message. I feel like you're working on yourself and you're doing a good job. I don't think there's much to be said. Okay. Be careful of a father, your father, child's father, something like that, trying to uh, interrupt your happiness. Okay, and this is for Sagittarius. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius for the week of September 10th through 16th? What would you like them to know, to be aware of at this time? Okay. You have the King of Rods, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Four of Rods, Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this could just be the energy of you dealing with another person that may be codependent on you. Or you may be codependent on them for some sort of emotional security um, or stability. It's just like you're used to this person, okay? Or being in this situation, I'm hearing. There also may be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or this could just be you coming to some sort of truth about a codependency in a relationship and taking a risk based on what you need to be happy or what you need to be content. And I almost feel like it's just time for you to do that. That's why you're doing it. It's not um, to hurt anyone. It's just time for you to, to do this for yourself. So I feel like you have some sort of direction. Um, you are at your highest vibration. Okay, about your foundations, about what you need, what you need in a relationship, what you need in a home, what you need in a marriage, okay, what you need in the people around you. Because I feel like there's a loss. You may have lost someone or some issue with your stability and you're trying to balance things. And that's why you have this vision of what you want and you're walking towards it. There could be a Knight of Swords communicating with you um, after this separation or after this loss. Or, uh, or you just being action oriented towards trying to balance yourself and, and being on your path of the goals that you want to set for yourself. And you're taking your time. There might also be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I do see a lot of people in your reading. There may be a lot of people that you're helping or people that are involved. I feel like uh, someone feels like you're the top, the, the, 
um, the person that everyone goes to and you're trying to balance a loss something with your own security and it has to do with your emotional dependence on these people being that um, you all have a support system okay so I'm going to leave that there joy joy is the highest energy of all it's the magical sense that everything is possible joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment joy allows you allows you to attract and create your present and future moments in the highest possible levels and I, I feel like this car has to do with you being at your highest vibration Sagittarius there's a lot going on there's a lot of responsibilities being put on you and you're trying to balance it's important for you to be at your highest vibration because with the king of rods that's what he is he is at the top of his drive his game he has vision okay he is doing what he needs to do to make things happen so I just feel like that has to do with putting yourself on a, a higher vibration. Okay? So thank you so much for listening. I love you so much. I'll see you next week. Love and light.